Hi everybody, I'm CNY Central First Alert Chief Meteorologist Wayne Mahar. Well, certainly no shortage of heat and humidity across the region during the daytime hours on Tuesday. 93 degrees, high temperature in Syracuse, and of course you combine that with the high humidity, the high dew points, that heat humidity index, well, felt more like about 100 to 105 degrees at times. Then, no surprise, the combination of that heat and humidity combined with a cold front coming in from the west, well, that really fired up some late afternoon, early evening thunderstorm activity where several severe thunderstorm warnings were issued from northern parts of the state, from Lewis County, stretching on down into parts of the Mohawk Valley, even southeastern parts of Onondaga County, heading on down into the Cortland area, severe thunderstorm warnings as the late afternoon showers and storms fired up. Well, what's going to happen during the overnight hours tonight? That activity that we've been following all afternoon on into early this evening is now pushing away out to the east. Drier air, quieter conditions out to the west are going to work the way on in for the rest of the overnight. But then I think tomorrow with yet another cold front coming in late in the day tomorrow, that's going to help to fire up once again some more primarily afternoon showers and thunderstorms behind that second front. Then I think enough dry air comes in, but we're going to push the temperature, push the humidity down as we head on into Thursday and especially as we head on into the upcoming weekend. And that's good news because we might just be able to manage another good looking weekend. And how about a good looking July 4th holiday weekend? Wouldn't that be nice if we can manage that? Here's a look at what the heat index looked like late this afternoon on into this evening. The heat index is that combination of the heat and humidity. So sort of like the opposite of uh, the wind chill in the winter, but it's what it feels like to the body when you take the temperature, you take the heat, you take the humidity, you combine it. Late this afternoon, early this evening, felt like 89 degrees in Syracuse, felt like 89 in Fulton, felt like 83 degrees in Watertown. Notice, however, temperature is cooler. Felt like 75 in Rome, 73 Cortland, 75 in Ithaca, but yet felt like 91 in Penn Yan. You want to know why these temperatures right here lined up cooler? Because at this time they were in the midst of getting cooled down with heavy rain from those thunderstorms that were working the way on through and they are continuing to push the way on out to the east. So what's going on this evening? Temperatures for most everybody this evening back up into the low to mid 80s, but they're going to be cooling down at least just a little bit overnight tonight. Here's our satellite radar. Early this evening, there's that flare up of showers and storms right there working on by. Weather is going to be relatively uneventful for most of the overnight tonight and the start of the day on Wednesday. But then another cold front out to the west along up with, with the upper level energy that's going to work its way on in here and that will once again fire up more showers and thunderstorms Wednesday afternoon behind that front. Then we're going to find that it is going to turn cooler and more comfortable as we head on into Friday and on into the upcoming weekend. So as far as the future cast is concerned by eight o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, we'll see another little line of showers and storms out to the west starting to slowly work the way on through. And there's that cold front. That secondary cold front will eventually clear through the area here tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, and that will bring us some cooler, drier weather and what appears like a pretty good looking upcoming holiday weekend, and that would be nice. So here's the way the forecast shapes up then. Overnight tonight, scattered showers and thunderstorms exiting out of the area. It'll be partly cloudy and muggy. Low temperature tonight, 70.